Once you've placed a pin, you have a few options to change how it looks. When you click on a pin, you can click on the style icon that looks like a paint bucket for options to change the color of your pin. You also have the option to change what the icon itself looks like. There are many options to choose from. However, you might want to use these options thoughtfully. It could be distracting if every pin on your map looks different, so think about making your map look visually cohesive. If you'd like to have the place name appear next to your pin, click on Individual Styles in the Layers column and go to Set Labels. Select Name. If the title of your pin is particularly long, it will be cut off. You can also set a uniform style for all the pins in a layer without individually changing the style of each pin, but it will group the pins under an All Items heading. These options come down to a matter of preference. When you click on a pin, you also get the option to edit the text and images associated with the pin. Click on the pencil icon to edit the text. Here you can edit the heading or title of your pin as well as add any descriptive text. Any URLs that you copy and paste into this box will be automatically clickable. To add an image, click on the camera icon. You get a few options here. You could upload an image from your computer, take an image using your web camera, or paste the link for an image. You also have the option to browse for your personal Google Drive if you have any images there, or to search Google Images. Now you can search Google Images directly in My Maps, but you might prefer to open it in a new window or tab and search that way if you want to see bigger images or more contextual information about where the images are coming from. If you decide to take an image from Google Images, make sure that you copy the link directly to the image, not the link to the website the image is on. You can do this by clicking on View Image in your search results instead of Visit Page. Copy the URL and paste it into the Image URL box. A preview of the image will appear, and then you can click Select when you're done. Any time that you edit your text or images, make sure that you click on Save, or else your work might be lost. If you decide that you want to delete your image, click on the pencil icon again, and the option to delete your image will appear in the bottom right corner of your image. By previewing your map, you can see how the contents of your pins will appear in the left-hand bar. This is how your map will look when you share the link with other people.